So if you guys remember Retta, there actually is an object that you can place down, which is just Retta. And this is the, uh, I guess the fisheye close up filmer. So if you want to get like a close clip on a staircase or a handrail, this is the perfect object dropper for that. And this guy is a long lens filmer. I do think the camera on this guy follows you as well. So you can place him down and depending on what clip you want to get in this map, you got two different filmers for whatever you guys got. It makes for some really realistic looking gameplay. So I'm going to place this Retta fisheye filmer right near the ledge where the trick is going to happen. And just for fun, we'll place the other Retta long lens guy in the background here. I think this will look kind of cool. Have me like rolling up and rolling away. Let's do like shove nose grind 180 out. Very nice. Switch 360. Let's have like a tray flip, nose slide, three shove out there. Hard flip backside tail slide. Ooh, very nice locking on that one. I like bending down early to make it really kind of simulate what it would be like to do this in real life. That was a nice one. I think we'll keep that. So I'll leave a link to this as well below, guys. But I have a fisheye camera installed, a preset for it. It's called the Centennial Optics Fisheye. It's probably the most common fisheye you'll find for this game. I'm going to get a keyframe of him rolling up right there. Let him roll up closer. Maybe come closer myself. Keyframe. Keyframe. And then kind of go over here. I think that will look pretty good for what we want, right? I guess another tip is when you use these guys, make sure to delete them because the more objects you place down, especially ones that move like that, um, they will make your game lag. So definitely delete those as you move to more spots. Here's the old stat menu that we all know about from Dog Vinci. I'm pretty sure that most of you have never used the pin manager including myself, until this map came out. But what this is, guys, is pin droppers for all of the most common locations, or I believe this is the OG pin locations that are actually in the game. So when you play Skate 2 and you use the uh, fast travel, I think this is where it takes you to. So every single spot you could think of that you want to spawn at for Skate 2, this mod essentially has it. It just makes it you have pin droppers for all of the locations in the entire map, so you can easily get around the entire map. So I have this version of Beagle, actually, that we can use. So this is kind of a fisheye one, but he's made for stairs, so I can place him perfectly on the stairs like this. And then we'll go back and use Retta, which is, we'll use the long lens one for this one, put him on the road, maybe? This is super cool to have. If you play Skater XL and get clips, you definitely need to get some NPCs for the object dropper mod. It makes the game so much more fun to play. Do a Shane O'Neill type, big spin back a lip. One of the tricks from his recent Chain Goes video. Try like a Nolly 270 alley oop blunt for Yuto. Nolly double heal. Oh, dude, I got stuck in the ground. That was a nice tray flip, though. Nice take the backside lip slide there. I think that would look good on the, uh, the camera for filming. And we'll also try to pretend that we are Retta. So we'll film it from like right here and get this angle that Retta got for us. These NPCs add a lot of, you know, just flavor to the map, guys. It makes the map feel a bit more alive or the spots that you're skating because they are dynamic. They move with you. It feels pretty cool. So if you press space on the keyboard, you can simply open up just the pin dropper alone without the rest of the stat menu mod. But this is how you can easily get around the whole entire map. And I think this is like the mega ramp type thing they built into the neighborhood. Ooh. fun map to hill bomb through though. There's so many different hill bomb spots like this. Get some good hill bomb b-roll here.
This main section right here is the main Skate 2 map that you guys can go download from the links down below. But you'll have to download the lower portion and the very upper portion separately just because Unity can't include, you know, ground for that big of a space. Oh, perfect. Top of the, of the mountain here, I guess. Look at this. This is the very highest point in the map. But this is the entire Skate 2 map. So if you guys want to skate just the big portion of the map, make sure to get the main download that we're playing right now. But let's head over to the, the top portion of this map here because I believe the spillway and all this stuff is locked behind, again, another map. Oh yeah, I think I do remember this now. And I, I wonder how far this goes. So like, this is just the skate park, right? But I wanna see how big this top portion really is. I guess you just, this is the very, very top of Skate 2, the very, very peak of the Skate 2 map. And look how far away I am from the map. But let's take the highway and see how far this takes us, I guess. I wonder, in Skate 3, you could probably skate the walls here. Oh, yeah, you can skate them in Skater XL2, kinda. There's forks in the road, right? You can just keep going down the main road. But there's also been these uh, shortcuts, I guess you could say, for the death races that Skate 2 had as some of their missions. Oh, it's a bit janky because uh, the physics from Skate don't translate very well to Skater XL. Oh, here's the, uh, I think this is like the dam, right? So this is the big spillway that you can jump down. This does remind me a lot of Skate 3. <laughs> Pop over this big hip. Kick flip. Oh, this is so sick. What else we got? Big 360 over whatever this is. Nice. Oh. I think there's a death race down this section too in Skate 2, isn't there? Very familiar. Oh, yeah, I remember this spot. This is so nostalgic. Oh, oh, hang it on. Oh, that was a bit janky. If you use a bunch of mods, though, you definitely can do a full loop around that. But you do need to mod your game out quite a bit to be able to do that. This is amazing, guys. This is very, very fun. You won't find this in many other maps in Skater XL. I wish I didn't fall there. But anyways, guys, that is it for today's video. So hope you guys enjoyed this. I showed off everything you need to know about the Skate 2 map. So there's three separate downloads. There's one main download for the main big portion of the map that you're seeing right here. But if you want the very top and the bottom, there's also two other maps that includes those. Everything that you could think of is in this map, guys. All of the hidden spots, every skate park you could think of, all the spawn points, everything that you'll remember from the old skate game, Skate 2, is in this map here. But I do want you guys to get the most out of this map, so I'll leave a link down below to everything you need from this video. And also to make sure to grab the walking mod because Skate 2 is the game that added walking to skate. Remember that? So make sure to grab the walking mod by Fro to make sure that you can walk around like you can in Skate 2. And that's all you need to know, guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Always had a way to make it work and find another route.